Greetings to all you lovely people out there. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Ollie here at visordown.com with another video featuring a selection of motorcycles in some semblance of order, otherwise known as a top 10 rundown. Now, today we have something that might be a little contentious and might provoke some opinion, but hey, free speech and all that. Yesterday, we are switching on to electric motorcycles. Okay, so we know many of you shun the notion of electric models. And you know what? We totally get it. After all, experiencing the rumble of an engine as you punch through the gears is a big reason why we ride in the first place. But like it or not, electric is coming and shock, it will be here to stay. And that means more and more zero emissions models are charging into the market, giving full battery rather necessarily than full gas. So while we know there is some convincing to be done, Here's a rundown of today's most convincing options that maybe, just maybe, will spark some interest. Are you ready? Great, let's plug in and play. It's been four years since the Harley-Davidson Livewire hit the road, and we still don't think we've come to terms with the idea of an electric motorcycle from Big HD, let alone see, touch and ride one. Yes, what sounded like an April Fool a few years ago is now a bit of a granddaddy in electric terms, with Harley-Davidson's bold attempt at doing a Steve Jobs, seeing it go from throwback belching hogs to visionary zero emissions roadster. We felt like we were in a parallel universe, and it seems you out there kind of agree, judging by sales figures that read like a low battery. The Livewire is a worthy effort. It's rapid, it handles decently, and it has kudos. But it looks bland, has a modest 95 mile range, and at £28,995 would require a lot of miles to recuperate that shelf price in fuel savings. Which is why Harley-Davidson has attempted to reboot the project by making Livewire a new spin-off brand, with the Livewire motorcycle becoming the one. So that's Livewire 1. Clear? Okay. It's a new name, but it is the same bike. So the same critique supply, but unlike petrol engines, advancements in battery technology are moving fast. So newer, faster, more economical powertrains, plus a smaller price tag, is definitely on the way. If the Livewire 1 was the iPod, and Harley-Davidson is hoping the brand new Livewire Del Mar is the iPhone that will transform its electric dreams. With the one proving too big, too expensive and too ordinary to woo the younger generation of buyer Harley has been targeting, the smaller, funkier Abercrombie and Fitch Livewire Del Mar hits more of the right notes with its trendy flat track fusion design and greater affordability at an estimated 19,000. Okay, so it's not cheap for what's still a fairly small motorcycle, but the Delmar does come with a new generation arrow platform with a range of 100 miles and 60 kilowatts of power. That's 80 brake horsepower to you and me, which should hold considerably more appeal. While the big manufacturers are still getting their head around how to tackle the new age of electric, some plucky startups like America's Zero Motorcycles are already veritable veterans. Hitting the road back in 2010, when electric transportation still had a whiff of the Jetsons about it, it has stuck to its guns and steadily increased its range, the most convincing of which is the SRF Roadster. It's not the most exciting model to look at, but it rides comfortably, is more powerful, has better range, and at £21,440, it is significantly cheaper than the Livewire 1 it rivals. That's not the best bit though. Say you want your Zero to go faster, or go further, or regenerate more energy. Well, there is literally an app for that, and it's called Cypher which allows you to tweak your motorcycle settings just after you've ordered your delivery and completed your Wordle. No matter your view of electric motorcycles, you have to admit that's pretty trick. They call it the silent revolution, which sounds like an oxymoron to us, but either way, the BMW CE04 is the German firm's big and certainly bold attempt at replicating the success of its four-wheel electric cars on two wheels. If the revolution is quiet, then the same cannot be said for the design which sees BMW evoke the wackiness that brought us the comically awful C1 with its um, roof, with a look that we can't decide is either achingly cool or worryingly reminiscent of a motorized Dyson. If you are wooed by the design, then you should be impressed with the 31 kilowatt powertrain, around 42 brake horsepower, and a claimed range of 80 miles, so about two thirds of the M25. There's plenty of kits with a quick charger that goes from zero to 80% in just over an hour, heated grips, and even a guardian angel that will phone the emergency services for you if you get into a bit of bother. It's not cheap at £11,700, but no other scooter will turn as many heads, if you like that sort of thing. Who says electric and sports bikes don't go hand in hand? Well, actually, many people would say that. Not Energica, though. The Italian firm has spent years attempting to prove electric power is an advantage 
when it comes to tucked in full throttle performance. It's a mindset that has led to this, the Energica Ego, a premium sports bike with voltage coursing through its Italian racing bloodline. With its 21 and a half kilowatt battery platform, the Ego can hit zero to 62 mile an hour in just 2.6 seconds. It has a range of 260 miles from the equivalent of 169 brake horsepower. If you're a fan of all things MotoGP, then the Ego will be familiar as the electric sports bike of choice for the Moto E World Cup. A fast and frenetic, if eerily quiet, championship that proves action-packed motorsport can have a conscience. But if you're not sold on the Ego, then Energica offers the Evo Roadster 2, while both will soon be joined by this. The all-new Xperia. Energica's latest attempt to dismiss the idea that electric power means compromise. Pitched as a sports tourer to rival the Yamaha Tracer, the Xperia accepts the challenge of proving you can travel long distances on a single charge, while being kinder to the environment on the way. It comes with an 80 brake horsepower equivalent 22.5 kilowatt battery that offers a combined range of 160 miles, rising to 264 miles in urban environments. With a lighter battery and a different weight distribution, Energica has even managed to develop the Xperia to tackle mixed terrains, while the styling, now a touch bland, does a good job of shrouding that hefty power pack underneath. And now for something a little different. This is the Kimco Revo Nex. It's not on sale yet, but it is coming soon, and it's doing so with some rather nifty party tricks up its sleeve. Having built its reputation on scooters, Kimco is using an electric platform to develop its new range of big bikes, which will be spearheaded by the sharp-looking middleweight Roadster. While the finer details of the model will be revealed when we get close to full production, what we do know is that the Revo Next will tackle some of the more vocal complaints leveled at electric motorcycles. Firstly, the Revo Next is fitted with a multi-speed transmission, an effort to give it a more raw, mechanical feel rather than a linear line of torque. Kimco also wants to get rid of that whining noise, in favour of a pre-installed conventional engine-like soundtrack to sync up with your riding. It sounds like a gimmick, literally sounds like a gimmick, but whatever you think, the Revo Next certainly challenges the electric stereo type. See what I did there? Stereo? No? Okay, oh, never mind. Is this going to be the Tesla of motorcycles to transform your perception of electric on two wheels? We've been eager to throw a leg over the Damon Hypersport since it was first revealed in 2019, boasting some, well, boastful figures that don't mess about. Damon insists this electric sports bike in flagship trim with a 20 kilowatt battery can produce 200 brake horsepower, hits 200 mile an hour top speed, and still complete 200 miles on a full charge. It's a smart cookie too, with its 360 degree co-pilot adaptive radar cruise control, AI that is actively learning and updating the software in real time, not to mention the much simpler adjustable shift handlebars and foot pegs so you can adapt to the riding position. Throw in the fact that it looks pretty sharp and we have to admit the Damon Hypersport has definitely sparked our curiosity. Now, if you're thinking electric motorcycles are just a bit too expensive to consider at the moment, you may want to look away now. This is the Arc Vector and it will set you back £90,000. Yep, that's nearly six figures. For that, you will get a proper statement of a motorcycle that won't just turn heads, but give them whiplash doing so. I, I won't talk for a moment, I'll just, I'll just leave you to look at it. Enough for you? Cool, well, the Vector justifies its eye-popping price with some premium touches, such as carbon fibre materials, plus a front swing arm suspension and hub centre steering. There is even a human-machine interface, with a jacket containing haptic feedback warnings, plus a helmet with a heads-up display. It looks quick, but the Vector actually isn't terribly fast. With its modest 95 kilowatt, the equivalent of 127 horsepower, while the top speed is limited to 124 mile an hour. But if you're forking out nearly 100,000 pounds for a motorcycle that looks like this, you shouldn't go too fast anyway if you want to show it off. Okay, so we're cheating a little bit here because unless you're a rider with racing talent, and we mean like world championship standard, not because you lapped faster than your mate Dave down at Donny that time, then for the time being, this sporty little electric number isn't ready to buy. This is the brand new Ducati Moto E bike, which will take over from Energica as the bike of choice for the 2023 Moto E World Cup. Unlike the Ego it is replacing, this is a from the ground up prototype, being honed for maximum performance from volts rather than fossil fuels. Nevertheless, it's a chance to imagine what an electric Ducati Panigale might look like in the future. And while we don't know exactly how rapid this is, 
Let's just say it can keep up with the Ducati GP22 MotoGP bike off the line for longer than you might expect. Bravissimo. So there you have it, enough of my waffling. We want to know what you think. Are you ready for the electric revolution? Maybe you're just a little bit curious. Or is this no future you want to be part of? Either way, we would love to know. Drop us a comment, and if you haven't done so, please do like and subscribe to the Vise Down YouTube channel because I like my job and you'll be doing me a solid, so ta. Until next time, ciao for now.